Not really. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Birds, they love the sound of this here clangor. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Ah! There you are, Pivoty. You came back to your mommy. Be dearest. Pete, I was so worried about you. That just leaves Pippily. Goodness me, how far could she have gone? Pippily ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. Try this. Don't overdo it. You're up. Be then for it now. I won't let you down. You're in for it now. Whoop it, shall we? Whoop it, fists of fury. This one's a fair way. Come on, that's it. Your turn now. I got to deal with that. All set. Go. On it. Bring it, Perkins. All right! All together! Oh, no! You could let him have it! Taking over. Take the lead. I got it. I'll take care of this. Make me do everything? Pushing it. I can still fight. Uh, You're not even fit for the fence. Uh, Kept you waiting? Ha! Okay. Ha! Stop! Go for it! <laughs> Mind taking over. They're in for it now! Here. <laughs> Let's do this! By the skin of your teeth! <laughs> you know. Break a leg! All set! It's over! Bring it! There! Come on! Finish him off! Let's pour on the pain! Play time! Over! Hmm. 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 
Hey! You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. They were quite eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. My darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippoli. Uh. <sighs> I don't think I've ever met such nice young people. Come back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. They... They could have lived long and happy lives running free. If I hadn't... Well, we all gotta eat. Oh! <sighs> Savage. Oh. Um, since you're here, I need your help to become a true warrior. Please, guide me to greatness. I'm Sotetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know. Telling everyone how you turned some state-of-the-art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know? <sighs> Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! Huh? Wait... Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course! I'll do anything! Hmm. <laughs> Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Halt, fiend! Please, teach me your ways, Master. Look! I've got you. to waste now strike swift and true <laughs> bundle up <laughs> sloppy <laughs> oh. 
freeze. Now. There! Suck on this! Go on! There! Come on! Try this. Keep it together. Bring it! Okay, let's keep up the pace. You've crossed paths with the wrong Dagger ninja. enemies twice. I'll make you if proud. If you enemies within the time limit, don't let this die fall. You're Take me. Gotcha. To the limit and beyond. Gotcha. I'm not going out. Ha! <laughs> 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 Let him have it. My turn. It's on now. Let's finish this. Now you're in for it. So long. You're not getting away. Teamwork. I hope you've got more in you, because that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zack told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Her body. And mind. Start. By training. You're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. In your quads. Got it. <sighs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? What the? Get back. Don't overdo it. Good luck. All right. You're gonna love this one. Stand here. You're gonna love this one. Stand here. What does your get your home? Your turn now. I got this. <laughs> Let's it. switch it up. Yeah, I can go. No more games. Whatever. Uh -huh. yeah. huh. There, back me up. On it. Nice move. Ah. Don't go scared like that. There, time to fly. Go. I see it. Taken over.
than this. Actually won? Wow, all that training really paid off. Wait a sec. That's it. I've got an idea. See you back at the village. Ah! Uh, hello. What about my materia? So we just talked it over, and we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member, so it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> if you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Sisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield. And under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just... I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud! Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. I'll consider it after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two! Two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! New quest? It's funny, because, um, it's like, when she came up, was like, I can train you guys. It's like, Cloud offered, for, well, not offered, but he put, he, well, I guess offered, he offered to train them for a million gil. That's like saying, hey, here's the top of the line training, like the absolute best of the best. Like, here's a sirloin steak. And then she walks in, she's like, here, have a happy meal. And they're like, oh, well, it's free, so let's do it. Oh look, it's the video that got my channel. What happened? 
cooking happened. Watch your feet. What am I gonna do about you? <gasps> wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. <laughs> so, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of his stuff for me? What a sweet boy you are, staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torgan now, you hear? Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's fields are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. There's my boy. How'd it go today? Good? Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff. But you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep. Grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things grow on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. Their aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna wanna savor it. The proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Rock here. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these ought to match Torgan's picture. Yep, nailed it. I'd say that's the one we want. I like how they make the last one kind of hard to find. What a gorgeous color. Almost feels like a waste to grind them up. All right, 
I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torgan said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out. Must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Behold, the Magunga mushroom. Note its mushroom-like qualities. Just gotta be very careful. Perfectly plucked. More of them ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. Let's do this. Gotcha. <laughs> no escape, <Gotcha>. sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm through with you. Found another one. Into the sack it goes. Sensational picking, Mr. Merc. One more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom. Dang. Burn now. <laughs> That'll do. Enough. Going in. Don't overdo it. Sorry, but I got this. Need a light. Get him. Burn, that's it. Bring it. You're mine. The third and final. Let's not mess this up. Think you got a future in farming. That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep, looks like we're done done. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. <laughs> what is this thing doing? Why is she struggling? Uh, oh, wait, no! Oops. <sighs> Whatever. This might turn out okay. <laughs> Told you. The fairs are always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. That bad, huh? 
But what about the bombberry flavor? <clears throat> bombberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <sighs> Whoa there! Might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that's pretty good. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just know the fairies are gonna love it. Great job! <laughs> Think you're tough? Yeah. Marlboro presence detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Marlboro's on you. to the Gagano have been known to grow Go exceptionally it. large thanks to their ravenous appetite for woodland farming. This specimen, however, it's on has you. undergone it to me. evolution since the Marco exposure. Lures in the area to the Gagano's odor and uses toxins to weaken its prey. I knew we could do it. Allowed to thrive, the great Marlboro could destroy the entire ecosystem. Facial covering aren't required for this mission, but they far strongly like recommend it over. reduce fume inhalation. Yeah. I believe in you! It's on now! Here it comes! Keep it up. They need you, Kate. Let's do this. Oh, shield frog? No. Someone! Anyone! Watch this. We need help! This will make them sweat. Oh, you have to. I hate to let you go. Hold the hell! It's my time to shine! 
You're gonna love it! Looks like we found the airstrip. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, a Republic telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow, what do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long, but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane, follow the smoke! <sighs> Come, to, Come me, to me, airplane, airplane follow, follow the smoke! The smoke! Huh? Huh? What? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Bravo, sir! Where to, folks? Cosmo Canyon, please. Uh, you talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? Uh, <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass till y'all pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. Claws! <laughs> Here we go! Oh. 
Shit, kid. Who do you think I am? I don't know. Who? President and pilot of Bronco Airlines, Sid Highwind. Pleasure having you aboard. I must admit, I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. Maybe planes would be okay, but nope. Out in here? Open the window! Oh. Hey, Sid. Yeah? You're not worried about flying around in the open like this? What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close now. Yep. Bringing her down. Okay, folks, we're here. Brought you as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. The veil's this way. And on that note,
I'm gonna call it. Try to get this down, this video down to as small as possible. And until then, guys, you know the drill. Peace out.